Welcome to our lesson on conversion graphs. So we're going to use the conversion graph in this case to convert between British pounds and euros. We'll begin with eight pounds. So to convert this into euros, we'll identify the eight on the horizontal axis. We'll go up to the blue line and then we'll go across to the Y axis value, which you can see is 11. So eight pounds is 11 euros. Now we'll convert 14 euros into pounds. This time we'll go across at 14 to the blue line. And then we'll go down to the British pounds axis. And you can see 14 euros is approximately 10 pounds. For question C, we're going to find the difference in pounds between 12 pounds and 20 euros. So we're going to convert the 20 euros into pounds. So we'll go across to the blue line again from 20 euros. Then we'll go vertically down to the pounds axis. And you can see this is 14 pounds. So the difference between 12 pounds and 14 pounds is two pounds. And finally for question D, calculate the change from 50 pound when you spend 20 euros and give your answer in pounds. So we're going to convert the 20 euros in to pounds, which you can see we've already done here in the previous question. So this is 14 pounds. So the difference between 50 and 14 pounds is 36 pounds. Okay. Let's try one more question. So do you want to try and use the conversion graph to convert the following questions, A, B, C, and D? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question A, four meters into feet, we'll go vertically up from four meters to the blue line, and then we'll go across. And you can see this is approximately 13 feet. For question B, 21 feet into meters. We'll go across at 21 feet to the blue line. And then we'll go vertically down. And you can see this is approximately 6.5 meters. And for question C, 15 feet into meters. Again, we'll go across from 15 feet and vertically down. And you can see approximately 4.5 meters. And finally, for question D, 300 meters. But you can see this is the problem because our graph only goes up to 10. But what we can do, we know six goes into 300 because it goes into 30. So this will be six meters multiplied by 50. And we can convert six meters, which is on our conversion graph, and this is approximately 19 feet. So then we have 19 multiplied by 50 is 950 feet. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.